So in the English, it says the messenger believes in what was sent down to him from his Lord and the believers. Each Thank you. one. Okay, that's it. That's it. That's, that's, it. that's it. The messenger bring, believes what comes down from his Lord and the believers. So if we understand it is like this, that means what messenger believes, he believes in something which comes down to him, like revelation from Allah and the believers. Mm -hmm. Do we Muslim believe like that? Then Muhammad received mm -hmm. a revelation from the believers. Abbas, can I answer that? Uh, yes, please. Because I actually did a session on this proving, yes, actually, two problems. Number one, this shows the Quran is not a linguistic miracle because of these mistakes. But secondly, it is true, revelation did come from the believers. Because I have your hadith where Umar inspired Allah to inspire Muhammad with Umar's revelations. So yes, revelation did come from Allah and the believers. Umar is one of them. No, no. Does it say that that, that revelation came from Umar? Does it say that? The hadith? Yeah, well, basically. is he a believer or is he a, is he a hypocrite? No, no, does he say the even the hadith? Yeah. Does he say the revelation came from okay? Allah? But see, this is the problem you're, you're playing games with me. I'm trying to be nice, and I'm not playing games. I'm asking you. I will show you many examples where the believers inspired your prophet from the sound hadith, which you selectively cite. But I asked you the question you said, Does it say Umar? Do you believe Umar is a believer? Because you choose the hadith you like. Is Umar a believer? Of course, he's a Khalifa. Of course, he's a okay. Believer. So is so when it says from the believers and if Umar is a believer and if I now show you hadith from Bukhari and Muslim where Umar says my Lord agreed with me in three things three things I said my Lord agreed with me and they became Quran what are you going to say so Umar is saying that revelation is my revelation it comes from me because That's even your prophet said if there was going to be a prophet after me it would be Umar because of the amount of agreement between Allah and Umar if God if God agrees with you something if God say, okay, that's, that's actually saying, Allah. Yeah, Allah agreeing. You're right. I like what you said. Allah agrees with Umar. Wow. Let, no, 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 if, if, if somebody said something right and Allah said, this is right what he's saying. And I am going no, to but reveal. He takes words and makes one, it second, one, second, one second. I am going to reveal that what what person saying that I am going to reveal what right. he's saying. Is that a revelation? Of Did God you hear what revelation, he said? So, revelation of that person. Guys, revelation. I want to hear what I'm he said. Going by you. I'm just going by your understanding. Let's say I'm, not, I'm trying to argument. make your point, but you keep talking. We got uh -huh. your point first five times. You're not getting is why is God. Allah taking the words of Umar verbatim and including it in the Quran? It's his words verbatim that Allah's repeating. It's the words of Umar that become your Quran. Why? As I said, is a revelation come from God, not from Umar. Yes. So that, did Umar say did did Umar say that write the, the write this down because I believe that God believes with me? To write that down. This is, I, I, Abbas, that. Abbas, this is the oh, point. Yeah. So, Abbas, the point. The point is, is that Umar says that Allah agreed with him in three ways, and then he makes statements that Allah then takes and puts in the Quran. So he's literally copying what Umar said, and it's Why? becoming verses in the Quran. Well, Why? first of all, I first of all I disagree with him that Allah copies exactly what Umar says, but he okay. he has to prove that first of all. Secondly, is, uh, Umar never Umar never claimed that the revelation is my revelation. He didn't say that's my revelation. Yes, he did. He said he said yeah, God go. agrees with he, God agrees with me. That means whatever his point was, Allah says, Yeah, his point is right. This this uh, should be right. If he's asking right. about so, hijab of a woman, so, his point so, is right. And right. So, to do his job. so Abbas, whose point was it in the first place? Was it Allah's or was it Umar's? Well, let's put it this way: that Allah was going. To, Quran is written long time ago. Quran knows what Shita, Satan Iblis said. Whatever Iblis is going to say, Quran knows whatever the disbeliever is going to mock Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. So it was all written up there. So can we say that disbelievers, whatever they say, that uh, Allah uh, Allah reiterate, Allah also copy the disbelievers? As You're well? giving no. a false analogy, by the way. It's yeah. difference okay. between the Quran recording what people say and then the Quran taking word for word what someone else says when someone else says because these words is not the Quran saying and Umar said it's no these are instructions from Allah so when the Quran quotes and the disbelievers say it's telling you now it's the words of disbelievers but in these verses it's not and Umar said it's no Allah said and he's saying what Umar said so it's a false analogy of us it's not going to work yeah so, you can open it now because you want to I quote this in the article but the one I want him to focus on, unless he says, oh, well, no, these are not the words of Omar. These were suggestions that Allah repeated in his own way. So if you open yeah. up that article. The agreements of the views of Umar with subsequent confirmatory revelations of Quran. Some of them make them out to make them amount to more than 20. More than it, 20, Avery. Yeah. 
Ibn Mardawa narrated that Mujahid said, Umar used to hold a view and the Quran would be revealed with confirmation of it. Now, the word confirmation of it is in parentheses, not in the Arabic. Right, it said it would right. be revealed with it. May I say something? Well, well, hold on, hold on. We didn't get before, to the point. Before you read anything, no, before you read anything I just we didn't get to the main point. Let me get to the main point. I'll tell you about myself. Anything you give other than Sahih, uh, authentic hadith, yeah. I will just discard it. Okay, that's fine. You can discard it. I want everyone else to see what your sources teach. That's, that's fine. fine. Ibn Asakir narrated that Ali said, in the Quran, there are some of the views of Umar. He narrated from Ibn Umar as a mar marfu. When people said one thing and Umar said another, the Quran would be revealed with the like of what Umar said. That's problematic as well. We're not, you're not going to read all of it. You're just going to get to this one specific part. Keep the two sheikhs narrated that Umar said. Okay, now for him who doesn't know who the two sheikhs are, that's Sahih Muslim, Sahih Bukhari. So he wanted just Sahih, right? Yes. Okay, this is Sahih Sahil Bukhari. Sahil Muslim. This is what it's quoting from. Keep that in mind. So the two sheikhs narrated that Umar said, I agreed with my Lord in three things. I said, Messenger of Allah, if only we were to take the station of Ibrahim as a place of prayer. And there was revealed and take the station of Ibrahim as a place of prayer. Chapter 2 verse 125. I said, Messenger of Allah, both good and bad people come to visit your wives. If only you would order them to wear hijabs. And the ayah of the hijab was revealed. The wives of the prophet united in jealousy. And so I said, perhaps his Lord, if he divorces you, will give him in exchange wives better than you. And it was revealed that just like that, with exactly the same words. Wait, this comes from Bukhari and Muslim, which you showed up in sunnah.com. That's right. So did I misread this, that the Quran repeated with the exact same words, what Umar said as part of the Quran? That's correct. That's what it said. And that's so in the Quran. The, example, the whole point was the example you use backfired get you on bus. Actually, it no, does prove that revelation came from Allah and the believers. No, it doesn't. I'll tell you why. First of all, even if it's in Sahih Hadith, what he's saying, he's saying what, what Allah was going to reveal. He says, uh, I say. agree. I agree with my Lord. He didn't say my but Lord. That's variant, Abbas. The variant we quote says, my Lord agreed with me. This hadith you're reading right now, first of all, he's saying, I agreed with my Lord. He said that's Secondly, a variant. Secondly, there's another Secondly. variant that says, the Lord agreed okay. with okay. me. Okay, okay. Secondly, Allah, we you know, uh, Quran has been written from Lohi Mahfuz. It is in Lohi Mahfuz. Yeah, it's not when Mumar says something, he's written. We don't know that. No, I don't know which, that. You which, claim that. No, no. We, 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 we Muslims believe that. I think there is a hadith as well uh, about that, but I can't quote you right now. I'm sure you know. <laughs> so, secondly, okay. whatever is going to reveal, Allah inspired some people, come to some people's minds. That did you hear they, they Allah inspires some people, guys? Hold them. This is yeah. recorded. Say it again. Allah, Allah did what? Allah do inspire some people. Yes, inspire. I did. Inspire. Yes, Wahi. Wahi. No, it's, uh, Maryam. Allah, Quran says. To Maryam, Wahi. Angel, and, so Allah gave did, did. Umar Wahi, though he's not a messenger or a prophet. And there's a no, debate no, no. among ulama if Maryam was a prophetess because some say she can be, some say no woman cannot be. Keep it up, Abbas. Keep. I'm giving you a role. Maryam's mother. Maryam's mother was inspired as well. That's yes, because the family of Imran, they are so, so, so Allah, 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 Allah put something on some people's minds. Whatever is going to reveal, that comes to their mind and they advise and that was going to reveal. That does not mean that Allah is copying what, what people are saying. Allah is revealing because they are saying that. Because nowhere you'll find the prophet ever said that. Nowhere, even any companion will say that that revelation is from me. That that is my revelation. We all believe that, and the Quran says the prophet says Quran is the revelation of Allah Subhanahu wa Taala. Show me where prophet says the revelation come from the believers. You said show me in the Quran. I did the verse you quoted buried you. I didn't quote Surah Al Baqarah two two eighty five. You did. So the Quran says revelation is from your Lord and believers. Live with it. That's no, the Arabic. You can't get around it. No, no, no. Do we Muslims believe that? Can you show them chapter 2, verse 285 again so we can laugh too? Do we, do we, do we Muslims believe that? Do, this is no, the believer, because you're Muslims believe are brainwashed. Muslim. Even if the Quran smacks you in the face, you're going to deny it. Yeah, that's the whole point. You're brainwashed. But the verse you quoted, if you look at the Arabic, the messenger believes in what was sent down to him from his Lord and the believers. That's your verse. The Arabic says that the wahi, the revelation, comes from his Lord and the believers. That's the Arabic. You're stuck with it. You quoted it. I'm just taking it to its conclusion. Why did you quote it? I, I was showing you this is the linguistic of the Quran. 
you don't, mis- you don't, you, 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 don't, you, don't you don't, you don't understand like that. Sometimes the the word believers, which is from the beginning, it comes later on. But people did understand what exactly it means. This is the linguistic of the Quran. That's why I said nine thirty one when it says beside Allah and Jesus, it says Allah is your Lord. Same very same Quran saying that worship Allah is your Lord. So if Jesus and Allah supposed to be, we should be worshiping Jesus and Allah. So why is uh, the worst ending? Well, actually, no. Uh, now, if you want me to deal with 9.31, I'll be more than happy to because you keep going yes, to please. 9.32 where you says that Allah is one. Well, probably you don't understand that Christians don't believe that Allah and Jesus, if we take Allah to be God, as two gods. So when you quote to me something saying Allah is one, in the same context that it says that Allah and Jesus are Lord, that's what I expect to find because in our belief, God the Father and Jesus are one God, not two gods. So what are you disproving exactly? Can you put that verse on the screen? Because yeah, I nine, don't you mentioned nine, so finish it, read it on, right? Okay. So what are you exactly disproving when you quote me where it says Allah is one? When if we go by the assumption Allah of the Quran is the God of the Bible, I don't share that assumption, but let's for the argument's sake. Yes, we believe God is one. So when we say Father is Lord, Son is Lord, Holy Spirit is Lord, it's not because they're three gods or three lords. Father and Son and Holy Spirit are one in their deity and lordship because Jesus possesses the lordship of his father. So amen. Allah and Jesus are Lord and God is one. All praise be to the Messiah. What do you refute? Ma, Ma Yeshua. Okay, no, no, hang on a minute. In the Quran, when it says that you, uh, do you uh, tell your um, believers, um, your mother and um, worship me, my mother and Allah beside us? That no, verse no, is talking see, about. You misquoted the verse in front of my question. No, it didn't say that. Okay. Surah Al Maida 5116 says, Did you tell mankind to take you and your mothers to God's? Once again, I'm going to challenge you, Ambas, because you said you don't understand it this way. Quote to me any historic reference before, during the time of Christ that says Jesus and Mary are two different gods from Allah, as opposed to saying that the Father and Holy Spirit are one God. Can you show me that reference anywhere? You changing the topic right now? No, you're the one who went to five one sixteen. No, 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 no. I, yeah, I went to show the Quran says that Jesus will be asked. Did you tell your mother, people, to take you and your mother or worship you and your mother? I said you misquoted it. It didn't say I'll worship tell you. Why. Okay. i tell you why I quoted that. Because yes, you were trying to make a point that 9, 931, you're trying to say that when it says Allah is one, that means Allah is saying Jesus and uh, Allah is one. Um, so, so they just said Allah is one. No. Because Quran again and again distinguish Allah and Jesus separately. It never makes them one. So 931 does. Except 931. So that's what I'm saying. You are nitpicking <clears throat> some verses and you're saying this is what it is, but you're not holistically understanding the Quran. The whole message you need to understand Abbas, what the Quran is saying. Can I, can Quran I correct saying Jesus Abbas, was a messenger of God. Jesus no, he's more was than Allah. That. Sorry? No, your Quran says he's more than that because it says he's the word of Allah sent down to Mary and a spirit from him. So the, And I don't believe in your Quran, but I'm showing you, you keep begging the question that the Quran is consistent. We don't share that convention. Just like when you Muslims try to nitpick on the Bible and showing its contradictions, <clears throat> we're giving you a taste of your own medicine. I don't believe your Quran is consistent. I don't believe it's free of contradictions. But even what you said is not true because you know, as well as I do, the Quran says Jesus is more than a messenger because he's the word of Allah sent down to Mary and a spirit from him. So I don't know if you don't think that we, we know your Quran. Maybe you think um, I was born yesterday. I was born the day before, by the way. But your Quran says Jesus is kalimatuhu the word cast down to Mary, Ruh and Minhu. Can you show me that language used for a mere messenger in the Quran? Uh, you again changing the goalpost right now here. Let's stick with did, 931. Did I, am I, you said the Quran says he's only a messenger. No, no, okay, 931. Let's 931. Look, earlier it says Jesus <coughs> and Allah called the Christ. Yes? It's, it's making two. Can no, you hear me now? They're one in their lordship. Now, in fact, I'm going to prove it to you. Can you, can, can uh, you make that big? I, I want to make a point here. I want to read the whole word. Go ahead and make the point. Yeah, make okay. point. Because it's very important. Yeah, I'm on the phone. Whenever I change the screen, go to the Quran. That's why I break my voice break. That's why I want you to make the screen is bigger. That'll be, that'll be better. Uh, is but it I'll good? Try, uh, anyway, so okay. they have taken their rabbis and their monks as lords apart from God and the Messiah, Mary's son. And yep. they were commanded to serve but one God. There is no God but He. Can you uh, the rest of it? Yeah. Glory be to Him above that they associate. Now, if you see the very same words, it's distinguished earlier Allah and Jesus. Separate mentioning two. Allah and Jesus. 
but later on is talking about one yes it's it's uh, and they were commanded to serve but one god there is no god but he so earlier there were two then later on that's one how does it make sense to you okay can it's i answer you or not you one, one. let me again repeat what wasn't clear the first time we believe god in this context the one who sent jesus father and jesus are one god so to quote a verse that says they are commanded to serve only one god there is no god but he far above what he associates we say amen because in that context, you're already told that the one God you serve is God and the Messiah together. And then to confirm that the Messiah is one with God and together they're the one God. The brother just mentioned it. If Jesus is the word of God, like you believe about the Quran, that means that Jesus, that Jesus, though distinct from God, is inseparable from him because you cannot separate God and his word. Together they are one. So what are you refuting again? And let me add a second point. If I go to the commentary... When you had a Christian who converted to Islam, this is in Ibn Kathir, when he told Muhammad, we do not serve, serve our rabbis, we don't worship them, because this verse says that they took their rabbis and monks as lords. We don't take them as lords. He goes, yes, you do. He goes, how? How do we take them as lords? Because you obey anything they tell you. So if they prohibit something that Allah made lawful, you obey them. And if they make lawful something Allah prohibited, then you obey them instead of Allah. In that way, you make them your Lord. So understand what Muhammad said. How do you make someone your Lord? This is Ibn Kathir. So you can get my point so you can refute me. The way you make someone your Lord is you obey him and do what he tells you. Well, surprise, surprise. That means if I obey Jesus and do what he commands me, according to the dimension of your prophet, he is my Lord. Surprise, surprise. So here, what Allah is saying is, don't follow the rabbis and monks and make them Lord over you because they're not authorized to do so. Follow me and Jesus because we have the authority to tell you what to do and how to do it. Bye-bye, Abbas. Eric actually says, God bears witness, there is no God but he, and the angels and men possess some knowledge. It literally says, Allah bears witness, there is no God but he, and the angels and men possess some knowledge. So your Arabic is a nightmare because Allah just said, he and the angels and men possess some knowledge, they are the one ilah. Again, that's what I'm saying. This is the this is the language of the Thank Quran, you. but yes. but you need to understand oh, the, whole, wow. the whole context of the Quran. Yeah, the Arabic literally you says that. The whole context of the Quran. Wow. So it, according to this, are you saying that angels are God? Wow. No, Allah said it, not me. Allah said it, not me. No, no. You need. That's why I'm saying you need to understand the whole message of the Quran. We're saying yeah, exactly. then, according so, to you. Yeah. 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 You saw that area that here it's Allah bears witness. There is no God but He, and the angels men possess some knowledge. That's literally the Arabic. Yes, that's crazy. Yeah, yeah. That's so this is, you see why they keep doing the tap dance because the Quran is a joke, the Arabic is a joke, the Arabic creates contradictions and idolatry, so they have to explain it. Well, see, no, you, you got to take it holistically. So if we go to 931, Allah and the Messiah are the one Lord. No, no, you got to take holistically. So when we go to 380, 318, Allah, angels, and men possess the knowledge, they're the one God. No, no, you got to take so when I take it holistically, I end up with polytheism. 